find this shaded area, okay, knowing the coordinates of A and B is, is really important. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just draw a line down there and a line down here and identify then what that coordinate value is on the x-axis. So it's minus th 3 here and of course it's going to be 1 there, okay. So we want the area of the shaded region, okay. And what I can do is work out the area under the whole curve, okay, which would be the whole thing, not just the shaded bit, the whole thing to begin with, okay, between minus 3 and 1, just by integrating. So what you do is here, okay, we will do the um, area under the curve, okay, which will equal to the integral of... Um, 16 minus x squared, because that's the curve, isn't it? Between minus 3 and 1 dx. Okay, so if I integrate that, now remember when you've got um, limits here, okay, we put the integral in, in a box, so you get 16x when you integrate that, and when you integrate this, it becomes x cubed, doesn't it? Increase the power by 1, divide by that new power over 3, between 1 and minus 3. We just got to sub that in then, okay? So we've got 16 times 1, take away 1 cubed over 3. So I put 1 in to start with. Okay, some people like to put that in a bracket to just make it clear. So you put in 1 in. Take away then, always take away the lower limit. So let's put minus 3 in. So 16 times minus 3, minus, minus 3 cubed over 3. Here's the lower limit substituted in. And what I tend to do is I tend to work these out separately. Okay, just to be clear, because it is a lot of work and you don't want to make errors when, you, when it comes to inputting on your calculator. So do it maybe all in, maybe do it there. So step one there would be just working that out. Okay, so that comes out as 40, 47 over 3. Take away then all of this then in this bracket. So let's work out that bracket. So what I can do, of course, is go back on the replay button, change that to minus 3 up here as well. We have to put a bracket there, put minus 3 in change that there so we've got that written out like that and that will equal to minus 39 i've already got a minus there but it just turns out to be minus 39 as well so then we get if i work that out 47 then over 3 and of course minus minus become plus 39 so we get 164 over 3. if you think about it right there's my answer if we go back to the the graph i've now worked out the area under the curve so i've worked out all of this yeah i've worked out the whole thing Okay, now to get the shaded bit, I need to work out the area under that line, yeah? Area under that line, and then sort of take it away. Just cut it out, and I'm left with my shaded area. Now, the area under the line, you could use integration, okay? You could integrate, just like we've done, this process here, and you'll get it out. The other way of seeing it is that it's a trapezium, yeah? It's a trapezium here. Now, we know the height uh, sorry, these lengths here of the, of the parallel sides with the trapezium, because these sides are parallel. We know that there from our answer earlier on. Let me just remind myself. We know that there is 15, that side, and we know this side here is 7. So we could say area, okay, um, of trapezium I can't spell it. Area of trapezium is equal to half A plus B H, okay, so that will be half. Now the A and B, remember, in trapezium are the sides that are parallel, so 15 and 7. And you times it by then the height between them, and you can work that out easily to be 4, can't you? So if you work that out, that comes to be 44. Okay. Now, that's just a quick way of doing it. You could have integrated between those limits. you end up with the same answer. To get the shaded then area, okay, you simply do then the area under the curve, which we did earlier on, and take away then that trapezium, and we get our answer. So on my calculator, I get a 32 over 3, and job done.